But I can tell you this much right now. A house full of studs equates to toxic masculinity. It happens in the lesbian community as well. Sad to say. So I can already tell you, this is all dumb. And they're all going to look like fools. And they're all going to make us look like fools too. <laughs> okay. Easy came up with a show with a house full of studs. I have not taken a second to watch any of it. I have not seen any reaction videos to it. So this is all gonna be brand new to me. That being said, I need to understand what it's about. So let's watch the trailer. Let's get to it. I like the music so far. The editing is great. They're showing you all the action you need to see ahead of time. I see her. I see her real bad. Oh, oh, I'm not. 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 Oh my god. Oh god, what? What? The whole daddy thing. You is a woman, girl. Y'all bitches is weak. Just cause you ugly, nigga. Don't play that shit, nigga. The fuck? Bitch, get the fuck out of my house. Studs Los Angeles. Studs LA. Okay, okay. That's a great trailer, not gonna lie. I think they promoted it very well. If I saw that trailer, I probably would have watched it. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but let's go ahead and watch their most viewed video in the whole series because I don't know the story, I don't know the background, I don't know nothing. I just wanna see the action and why this video was the most viewed. And I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. I think they're cleaning upstairs, I'm not sure, but I got roommates, so. So the video we're going to watch, it's is called Court Threatens Easy and Ends Friendships. Studs, Los Angeles, episode seven. That is 286,000 views. So we're gonna go ahead and watch that. It is 47 minutes long. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. We're gonna skip over the parts that I can care less about. And we're just gonna get straight to it, y'all ready? When she jumped me, like that was your time to have my back and I jumped. You don't know what it's yeah, No, you don't you don't know what it's like that. You disrespecting my shit, bro. Don't post that shit. The emotions. Everyone's so emotional. A lot of them sound drunk too, so. The thing I learned about reality TV. They leave you in a place with no TVs, no cell phones, force you to interact with others, and fill that place up with alcohol. They get them at their most vulnerable state, their most clouded mentality, and shit always goes down. So this is what it's, this is what it looks like to me already. Like they all look drunk. I don't, I don't accept your apology right away. Nigga. That's I don't fine. Have to. That's you fine. just say you don't give a fuck about someone. And that's fine. That's fine. Exactly. That's fine. I got niggas that'll rob you right now. Niggas Oh, you dumb. This looks real. Okay, it's Hazel. Beautiful. Got a little swag. Okay, girl. Smith. Also beautiful. Got some swag. That's the whole point about being a stud, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the twin billionaires, they look like babies to me. I don't know how old they are, but they look too young. Uh, Diamond, beautiful as well. A lot of these women look older, which is good to know. Court looks familiar. It's a good intro. 
Good intro. I wonder if they were all friends before this and easy just put them all together in the house or did she go through auditions i don't know i definitely wouldn't be involved in something like this because i don't fight <laughs> i would be good with my mouth though like i think i think i can um instigate some shit i think just for tv i can make shit happen but I am not going to put myself in that type of situation. Hell no. Nah. I have a career. You know what I'm saying? To think about outside of YouTube. No, thank you. First and foremost, when I step outside the club, like I said, we was having a great ass time. Then I see Twin with the toxic girlfriend that's been talking shit about every single cast member, threatening them. Doing a whole lot, a whole lot of. You been on my Hello. cast? You been fucking. They're drunk, y'all. Everybody's drunk. I'm thinking the first thought I think is why she bought a Sprinter van. Twin must be about to invite her to back to the crib. We all been inviting our girls back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that ain't finna happen. So I'm asking, you been on my cast members? Yeah, this my But it's my assistant. You my assistant. He was calling her fat in an in an ogre and strength. She on all my pages. Oh my God. She's like, your body's not giving, you're saggy. Are you a man or a woman? I'm not gonna lie, the filming, the production is pretty good actually. I'm pretty surprised. So she must have hired a crew for this. Okay, the editing is good too. With my girlfriend Shrek, you're shape Shrek. weird. Oh no. I drove like that? And, 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 yes no, and, and why? And why? I'm asking. And okay, and I was. was. So you and was. I was. So now, now that you know, okay, so now you know, look, look. Out of the respect to twin, I'm gonna tell her like, all right, if she won't be around, she could be around, but she got to apologize to all the cast members she disrespected. So when I went up to her, it was like, understandable. I had a little animosity and I had a little, my adrenaline was boiling. It's understandable because this is her house. I wouldn't let anyone come back to my house after they disrespected me or anyone in the home. And if something goes down where someone gets hurt, she's gonna be held responsible for that. Unless she's protected and I hope she is. She's got the money for an attorney. To, to have everyone sign some paperwork to where if something happens, it's not her fault and she's not held liable. She's actually being nice, giving her another chance by just asking her to apologize. I wouldn't even do that. Me and her is cool. Hey, get out the car, Bree. Listen, Bree, get out the car. No, no, Somebody shoot in the car. Hey, no, girl. I'm pushing her. I'm pushing her. I'm acting the f*** out. You got to people be hard. Hold on, you're doing too much. I'm talking to her. 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 Why are all of you crowding around this woman? Come on, you're good, so, I'm you a question. Doing too much. You disrespected my whole entire cast. Yeah. Okay. Because of your girlfriend. But I wanted Twin to know, and I told her, I said, look, Twin, I love you. If you're going to rock with her, she got to apologize to the cast members. Now, because I'm cool with Twin, because I'm cool with Twin, and she said she want to be with you, she be happy. So I need you to apologize to my entire cast, because it was the yeah. She's not going to do yeah. it. I don't know these she said she's not apologizing to everybody she just apologized to ashley my assistant and i'm like all right that's cool but we couldn't even get there because shit just got crazy man Why was I such an issue? Why? Because she lied about you being here. It is but it's my but, 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 she, but, she, but she's in the house because she of me. But she lied. I know. So, so, what's, so, so, what's the point of talking to me and talking to me crazy and, and posting crazy right. about me on my shit? Girl, I'm not posting okay. about you. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. They're all a bunch of fools. All of them are a bunch of fools. 
I want to know how old they are and what type of career that they're in. Because if you're willing to throw it all the way over a TV show, you're dumb as hell. How old are these women? The friends dragged Hazel in the car and tried to drive off with her. Damn. Damn. Shit just got crazy, man. And I was just like, yo, I'm trying to- All of this is not worth it. I'm telling you, it's always the ones that ain't got shit to lose that be in situations like that. And I'm not speaking about Easy or Natalie because they're, I'm pretty sure they're protected under paperwork, if that makes any sense, if anyone gets hurt. But everybody, everyone else though. Get up. I'm Hazel getting jumped, and I'm just like, yo, what is going on? What is happening, man? Ooh, 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 hell no. Look at all these women, all these studs fighting on these femmes. <laughs> By the way, I don't see a problem with that. They're all women, okay? So they can, they can box it out as much as they can. But if it was a man and a woman, I definitely disagree with that. This is allowed. It is a disadvantage though, and I only say that because all these studs have gym shoes on, sneakers, tennis shoes, however you want to call it. Well, all these women have, well, all these femmes have high heels on. Like, come on. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! By the way, all this started because Easy decided to confront Twin's girlfriend in front of everybody. The, the smarter thing she should have done was talk to Twin off to the side, let her know the situation. Listen, your girl's not allowed to come back to the house because of this. If she can apologize, cool. If not, okay. Leave it at that. Instead, she decided to confront this girl in front of everybody. Everyone's crowding around in front of the cameras, of course, because she wants the drama. She's instigating stuff. They talk about fake friends using them for their money, for the opportunities. But these successful people also use the disadvantaged and the people who are up and coming because of entertainment. They all use each other. They're all fake as fuck. Is she little? <laughs> <laughs> he just said she little. That's my bitch. I came out here to see my. Hell no. Hey, we have to go. I could never call my girl my bitch. We have to go. I never have. Never will. Calm down. Calm down. You can't be mad at her. I'm not mad at her, but I'm saying you should be mad. I can't. I don't want to hear you, bro. That's my bitch. I don't want to this shit's embarrassing. These, these girls. See, I told you. I told you they were gonna make all of us look bad. Told you. Okay, so she swung at me. So what the fuck did I do? They hit me like they shot me in the car, bro. Girl, why were you in the car? I don't care what you have to say, Ashley. It's not cool to do that, bro. You disrespecting my shit, bro. Don't post that shit on camera. I don't give a That shit fucked up, nigga. Talk to her. You're not her. It doesn't matter. Why you doing that to my mom? 
I'm surprised the cops haven't showed up yet. You have. No, look at what the fuck I have to say. I walked up to your girl because she said, I'm going to Look at that one security guy. He's only there to he's only there to protect easy, that's it. Okay, at this point, everyone's just yelling. At this point, it's not entertainment anymore. They're just screaming. At this point, it had been over 30 minutes. The club closed and easy security seeing a suspicious vehicle parked on the corner with four men wearing all black and car lights turned off. Girl, <laughs> why the fuck are y'all being so ratchet right now for 30 whole minutes? Go home. When we finally got organized enough for everybody to get on the bus, I realized and my security pointed out that there was a car behind us and it was full of dudes. Get on the bus, get on the bus, please, guys, get on the bus. Please get on the bus. Please get on the bus. And I was just like, yo, my security had to like really check them, like what's going on? Like, and they was like looking at us suspicious. Listen, listen, get on the bus. It's turning into something else. Who are you talking to? Get on the bus. I'm talking to her. Okay. Talk, talk to me like that. That's the fuck up. Listen, listen, get, your get your asses in the fucking car. Court is now arguing with security after him explaining there's a suspicious group of men parked behind the bus and he very he's very worried about everyone's safety. So I get court and I'm like, yo, let's get in the car. We got too many valuable items on us. We only got one security. Let's get on the bus. And she like, nah, I'm talking to uh, I'm talking to somebody, I'm talking to somebody. So then I'm like, look, I whisper See? in her ear and I'm like, yo. <laughs> I got so much jewelry on, bro. We got shit in this car. That's on you, though. Like, why? Like, just because you got money doesn't mean you have to load up with a whole bunch of jewelry to show that off. The club closes probably 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Ain't nothing good gonna happen after that. Leave that stuff at home. Get on the bus. She not having it, so I lose my shit. Fuck, get on the fucking side. Oh, that's why they go at it? Because of this. Court is annoying. I'm gonna tell you this much right now. Court's wrong here. She's putting everyone else in danger because she, her ass will not get in the fucking car. And nobody wants to leave her behind because if something bad happens to her, everyone's gonna feel guilty for it. Ugh, it's a stupid situation. I don't, hang, I don't hang out with people like that. Go home, all you motherfuckers go home. Bunch of kids. So this is what the whole episode's about. Everyone just yelling and shit, being drunk as fuck, acting like a damn fool. It's the whole episode. I could never. I could never. Unfortunately, the way they ended, like, I was really hurt. My feelings is hurt. Like, me and Court is the closest people in the house. And I was just so angry that I didn't even know what to do. My heart was breaking. And I just got on the bus. Court tried to apologize. Um, and I just told her, like, look, let's talk about it later. I can't, I can't talk about this right now. 
So we'll talk about when we get to the crib. <laughs> That's why I don't have friends. I don't build those type of relationships. Stuff like that wouldn't get too... It, it wouldn't hit my heart that like that heavy. I'm like, bitch, it's the last time I'm hanging out with you. And that's it. My bad, I should not. So, like, just how you... Just how when you argue with her, clearly when you're mad, you be like, I'm a girl too, so what's up? I think they, they all say that. So it's like, <laughs> we all got to these stats be acting. These dads be looking like little boys. I seen it from everybody. I did too. As I, I wasn't trying to fight for me. I was just trying to get everybody, like I said, out of the way of the car because they were moving the car. Oh, that's scary, man. Had fell. The wind was literally about to run over Hazel head. It literally gives me anxiety. My thing is trying to tell everybody, hey, if y'all want to fire, let's figure it out. This can pull up to the house. Yes. But it's like at the end of the day, we're not going to do that here outside at a yeah. public club. And he had, like Izzy said, they're here to protect me too because we're all the family now. So it's like, yeah, y'all probably all, You guys are dumb to think that way, first guys. off. Yeah, None of y'all are family, it's just the twins, like, obviously. Everyone's there for opportunity. Now, I nigga, you should have told us. Because they I thought she was like, bullying you, like how I be doing. Mm -hmm. Like when I, oh, you dumb, I like, don't talk to her like that, you know? They just don't like the way, nobody that's, likes the way she treats you. My she she that's my thing. never should have, she me. never should have pulled up to the event. I might be going to fry you, like she never should have pulled up. And it was at the end of the event, you feel me like that? Like, I, think at the, I agree with then, that. Like, when she like jumped, when she jumped me, like that was your time to have my back. And I trust you out of everything. Like, because she was sucking shit to all my niggas and she was like calling Ashley all these names for no reason and shit like that. So you know how we said it was all all a unit. And I was stand back. I don't fight, nigga. I'm not gonna lie. I do not fight. But if you're talking shit, if you, you keep on talking shit and you're over here trying to pull this shit or whatever. See that's one thing no I have to say too. I'm not a fighter. Definitely not a fighter. I've only gone into one fight in my whole entire life and that was a high school it lasted just a couple minutes but i'm not the type to also stand back or stand down if someone's disrespecting me coming at me wrong like i'm i have a mouth i have a voice i have a mind then i will speak my thoughts and sometimes my my tongue can be a little poisonous it's dusting a little bit so i understand when people get mad and they want to fight I'm, I'm just not going to fight but i will defend myself i'm not scared to do so but of course i would never want it to get to that point it's immature it's dumb you have a voice too. Use it. Oh, of course. Like we got each other's backs. You know what I'm saying? You all obviously on good terms. You living in this house, so I'm still gonna be that person that's like I don't tolerate no shit. But if you fucking with twin, if twin fucking with you, and knowing that you got that app on your phone, but they got a whole house meeting. Okay. It's like you know what? Well, I need to confront the situation. She made my entire cast uncomfortable, especially my assistant, the person that's working for me. I, you've seen it, everybody's seen it around me. I told her, I said, look, I don't want no confrontation. When I came off, at first it was a little aggressive, but I was like, you know what? I don't want that. I just want an apology, so, because you're going to keep my twin. If you're going to be around, I don't know if you're going to make the house. I don't know what the fuck going on, but if you're going to be around, I need an apology. She said, I apologize to your assistant. Once that happened, Things start escalating. My assistant felt a certain way. She wasn't communicating her message correct, not in a way to where my assistant felt safe. If we feel something, it obviously gotta be, we feel something for a reason. You feel me? And I can understand the gang up feeling. You know I understand. They all listening to her so like she's <laughs> a 50 year old so woman with wisdom. Like, all right, we all rah, 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 because it's the pandemic. It's a power dynamic right here. It's the woman that has been not only disrespecting my... Like, girl, you've said this already. You've repeated yourself many times. Like, we understand the situation. We were all there. Why is everyone just sitting there listening to this woman? Like, she's got some knowledge to spit or something. Like, she's teaching them some lessons. <laughs> this is what a power dynamic is. A person with money and people that want the same thing. They leech on and they just have to sit down and listen. <laughs> and people respect Smith. that. That's Smith. my boundary. I don't want to talk about All right, but look, but listen here. You agree to be on this show. I so, agree. To okay, so listen to me. You agree to be on the show. 
So we tried to communicate with you before she even stood up because she was literally trying to say, I was talking, talking to you, nigga, but do you guys feel you. how aggressive you guys are? She was trying to listen home. It doesn't matter. Even she earlier. Was, she was, no, this is not just right now. This is not just right now. Go. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. So, allow, so allow her to talk. She, you talk. Can you Let her talk. Real quick. Can I finish talking? So I can talk about something I don't want to talk about. Okay, then listen. Then listen. You ain't going to say shit. Then listen. Talk about it. Everyone's losing their voices because they be screaming and yelling. All their voices are raspy. Let one person say something to me. Please, let one person say something. Let it talk. Let it. Okay, now let's. Everybody can talk at one time. Nigga, ain't nobody need to gang up on me. So the first time the conversation was. You knew that your girl didn't like cameras and you responded to us on that. Yeah. But you also knew that your girl approached all of us yeah, on DM, like, on Instagram, on social media. And on really Whoever this man. stud is, I she like her. I was She's a voice of reason. I like her calm demeanor, the way she's she speaking. Her on her story, calling her names. She the patience. Her, she her. I like her. All of this was happening. And at the same time, no, I'm not done talking to him. Hold on. At the same time, you also knew who your girl was. So you knew how we felt about that because we was talking about the girl before she got here. And we told you in an un 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 uncensored manner how we felt about her actions. It wasn't, her, her, it wasn't about her as a person. It was about what she was doing. And you know we didn't f with that. And, and you she... knew your girl didn't f with the actions that we was having. And you brought two niggas, two things okay. together tonight. But even that though, you knew didn't bro, real shit. shit. Nigga, like, I have an image to protect, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, for this, don't we all though? Everything that went down tonight. Twin was overwhelmed by the conversation and felt ganked we up on. We had to invite her back to the house to alleviate everything that went on in the club. Just so we I can never know a fucking party. She needs one on one conversations. And they just open up this group setting like, is, doesn't work for her. That's done with. Like, that's done with. No, like, let me say what I got to say. <laughs> no, you can't. No. With the, with the whole situation. <laughs> I yes, girl. All you <laughs> yes, that bitch got her ass was looks and stink. The fuck? I don't think um that bitch is right. I don't think no bitch is right. At the end of the day, I tell that all the time. Yes, if you talking to something like crazy, they gonna be. <laughs> and I thought you got that. This, 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 that was funny. That's something I would do if I was there. I'll be the one saying, cracking some jokes just to lighten up the situation because this whole thing is dumb. It's not about tea. Niggas is losing their jobs. Niggas yeah. could have got arrested. Like, Same. Niggas wasn't yeah. even. But they put themselves in that yeah. situation, though. Because I had thin day. That's why I said, for me, inviting. Girl, we ain't doing this. We ain't crying you know? here. Like, I've been told Hazel and. I have, I've, apolog I've apologized. I'm not doing it again. If there's animosity, like, I, I'll leave. If it's not, we cool. But I'm not apologizing again. Like, but if. If it's it's a problem, I'm gonna take a nap and I'm gonna leave. If it's not, then we cool like we can cuddle type shit. <laughs> so it is what it is. Let let me know. When it came down to finally expressing why I was so hurt when it came to court, court you know said what she had to say, but she started off kind of backhanded. If you feel some type of way, I'll leave. If not, and it was just like if you feel some sort of way, I pack my shit and leave. If you don't, we good, but I'm not apologizing to you. You can't force someone to say, apologize, so. Who damn good with that serious face? That was <laughs> but she felt disrespected because I couldn't process my feelings fast enough for her, so that was disrespecting her. But I'm saying, like, I apologize, and you didn't say anything. Like, you kept walking out here and say anything. That's fine, you upset, cool. But just let me know. Oh, the car, the car is outside. For everybody. For you, Lex, for you, Smith, because we all, we all, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a respond how I want to respond. That's so, cool, so if you want to allow that, let, I'm going to talk to everybody that responded. That's oh what I'm going to do. Because when you ask me a question, everybody said something, so I'm going to address that. So, everyone, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, everybody's like just so confrontational. Everything's such a, everything's an argument. Hey, and what I was going to say was, I'm sitting here telling you, somebody that I'm the closest in the house, Getting a sprinter, come on, it's a car behind us and me and you going back and forth and arguing with me. And I'm like, bro, get in the sprinter, get in the sprinter. We only got one security guard. 
So you keep popping off at me. Like, no, that, that I'm like, bro, you ain't gotta be mad at me. Well, that's a problem in itself. Why do you only have one security guard and there was like 15 to 20 people you had around you? That security guard was hired to protect you, not, not anybody else. So let's, let's not pretend like we bought security for everybody. All this shit that happened. This is my this is my life. I can either get shot, I can either get robbed, whatever you feel. I'm literally telling you, in the sprinter. So, it is your life. It's the life you created. You decided to make the show, get a whole bunch of people, get them all fucked up, get them drunk, and cause drama. Isn't that what you wanted? That's why there's a whole episode, 47 minute episode, about this one altercation that happened at a nightclub. And it's a car parked behind our truck. Get in the sprinter. That's all I'm Bro. saying. Because everybody's already gathered up. You're the only part. I get it. I get so, it. I'm telling you, so let me finish. I'm telling you as somebody like, all right, this is my homie. Like, we all finally on the sprinter. Now I know court won't let's like, let's go. And now it's like, all right, we not because what the, the, the what twin grabbed the shirt? Like, this is my money, my livelihood. I don't know what the is going on. So regardless of what you feel, that's what I feel. And I appreciate the apology. Did you hear what she I said too? This is my money, my livelihood, as if no one's else's lives mattered. <laughs> that's some selfish shit yo even with that she only cared about her own being trying to create something nice i still came off in a way like i appreciate your apology i don't give a f about what's on your neck Ooh. for one i get you got money type shit you got you know what i'm saying about that shit you literally told me you don't give a f about none of that my thing is you popped off at me so I popped back. Yeah, and nigga. I it it. Took you, how long did it take you for you to get in the car? You was arguing. I, nigga. Give a fuck. I, I, don't, I, I don't accept your apology right away, nigga. That's I don't have Oh my god, here we go again. That's fine. Fine. Round That's fine. That's fine. Exactly. That's exactly. fine. I got niggas that rob you right now. Damn. Damn. I don't care about She's stupid. That is a that is a threat. I have you in my home. You know what stuff I have, which is dumb on Easy's part, bringing people home like that. But you're telling me you can get someone to rob me? You are now considered an enemy, in my opinion. You need to get the fuck out the house. That's a threat. And she said it on, on camera. You're a damn fool. Because if she ever got robbed, they have proof. Okay, so it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Kind of disappointed that a whole 47 minute video episode was off of one altercation being out at a nightclub drunk and they were all acting a bunch of fools and the rest of the episode was about them talking about it and not making any type of solution so do i like the show no uh but i wish you guys the best you guys are ma making good views is this good for the baby studs because the baby studs like this type of shit hopefully they don't become these type of studs in the future we'll see but you guys stay tuned because i got more reactions coming your way See y'all in the next video. Peace.